There's no point in doubting my decision now. No point at all. Leaving this lab was my only option. Had to move on. I was accomplishing nothing. I could have picked a better weapon. But I do want to stay far from any zombie. I could have stayed. I could have found a solution to save lives. So many specimens left to study. Who am I kidding? What's a single man gonna do in a rundown lab? I need to get to Zenoya. It's the closest town. It's probably overrun, but I'll need supplies. First, I need to get better with this rifle. This valley will act as an echo chamber. They won't be able to pinpoint my location. This is an excellent spot to practice. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Range of the Dead. I'm your host, the Birdman known as Falcon. Um, we essentially finished the entire of the Dead series with the exception of Range of the Dead here. And the reason why I'm covering it is because I still got a lot of questions asking me if I'm going to play this or not. And I did mention in the very last uh, Road of the Dead video that I wasn't going to play it because there's just not enough story to make this a very entertaining thing for you to watch. Essentially, this entire game is going to be me shooting zombies very far off with either a rifle, grenades, or a bow. And you do that for 100 levels, and then at the end of the 100 levels you get a bit of a story explanation as to what happened to our boy over here. It's not a bad game, it's more of a fun game for you to play on your own time. I just don't think it's something that's too fun for you guys to watch, but let's get into it here as soon as possible. So, I'm playing, by the way, the mobile version. What the mobile version does, though, is it kind of, it's going to make it a bit more harder for me to aim because I have to use emulated touch controls with my mouse, so it's going to be a little bit weird, but just bear with me here. There's got to be one around here. Um, so let's start off with the gun here. I believe I have this mapped out in such a way that I shoot with Z. So right now there's no wind against us, so we're fine. I think that if we line this up like so, we should be fine. So let's go and just shoot through there. Nope. Too low. So the zombies terrible. is way too far. Let's line it up in such a way where we're kind of aiming a little bit higher up. Well, I would say like maybe that's a bit too high. Maybe that one. Oh, okay getting close. We still want to go a little bit higher up, so you're basically just be watching me do a little shooting gallery, pop that hand off like no other though, that's cool boy. I'm getting good. I wouldn't say you're getting good, you missed quite a couple of times there buddy. Or at least I did, but I'm gonna pretend like it was him missing that. So this is gonna be 103, which is like three miles further than the one that I had before, so I would imagine we want to go a little bit further up than last time. That might be a bit too excessive, but let's give it a try, why not? Yep, a little bit too excessive. I'll check out the other That's weapons the here pretty soon. So, let's lower the boom. Like that, I think that's good, boys. Oh! Right in the forehead. Yes! Where are you? <laughs> that part I do like, though. He sounds so villainous. Where are oh, we got a little bit of wind against us now. So, this zombie is further back. And we have some wind working against us, so we might want to aim a tit smidge higher. That might be too much, but considering the wind... May oh, no boy. Nope. No, no es bueno, muchacho. How about... And I'll test out the bow here pretty soon. Let's see about this one. I guess, you know, technically the wind isn't too strong that I go. Oh! I just basically shaved that zombie's head off, right? Or the hair off, anyway. Just scalp that zombie one shot. So definitely further back, but the wind's now working in my favor. So because of that, how about we switch over to the bow. I know there's a grenade. I guess maybe later you get the grenade, but right now we only got bow and rifle to my understanding. So let's see. Now this is a bit trickier with the bow because obviously you have to worry about trajectory as well. Now the wind is playing in our favor, but going a bit off to the west it does seem. I'm going to just take a stab at it here to see how this flows, and also how long you cock the bow back. Are the sights off on this thing? We'll tell you about that. That was actually fairly good, all things considering. Maybe a bit more to the left, though. Right in the arm. 
So I would say a little bit up and left. Full power. Ooh, okay. So that one I think should do it. Yeah! That was a perfect shot. Do oh, you saw that right yeah. in the middle? That was right in the middle too. I do like how all the zombies that we tested on earlier are kind of like now back. What would have been cool is if you actually saw like a bunch of the soldiers as zombies to kind of continue the story from Lamb of the Dead where, you know, you turn into a scumbag and you infected all the soldiers, all the soldiers there. So having like a bunch of soldier zombies would have been a little bit cooler, I think, but eh, it is what it is. So here the wind's in our favor. Zombie is way, way back though. But I think because of the wind being in our favor, we go a little bit to the left. We go full power. This could hit. Ooh, okay. That was a weird graphical glitch there, but sure. Let's go higher up. I think we got the right... left or right, though. Yes! Do a total of 10 shots without... something. I didn't read the rest of it. Rate this game. Do you enjoy it? I do enjoy it, but right now I'm kind of busy, buddy, but um, I will rate you once we're done. You? There we go. We got a soldier. Although, those one of the originals. Now, yeah, that was like an original zombie that we tested on Lab of the Dead. Um, but we could pretend it's like one of the people that we turned when we finished Lab of the Dead. So, wind is going really against us and also towards, I would say, what is that, southeast? The zombie's pretty far. This might be a, a gun situation for me. And even then, it's gonna be a little bit difficult because of that wind. Let me take a stab at it, like, through here. This will probably miss, but... I need an idea. Okay, it's still, it was still curving to the left a bit. Alrighty, apologies for the weird sudden cut there. I'll take care of this in post-editing, but I got a, a pop-up ad. Alright, so we gotta go further up, because that was about to take its shin off completely. I wonder if I could remove legs, though. Huh. I, I kinda wanna try it, hold on. Can we- oh, that's way too off. See, that thing completely threw me off now. I had, like, almost the right trajectory I wanted to go. That was too high. I would like to try to take this dude's leg off to see if he falls over. I'm curious about- okay, that's good. Oh! Okay. Nope. Okay, what if I shoot him again there? I want that leg to go, boy. Maybe we get different weapons along the line eventually. We could. I, I would like to just see that dude drop over. We can't. Well, either way, that was in the leg. We need to go further up for that. And a little bit to the left, I would say, too. Ooh, 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 ooh. I would say down and left. This might be the shot. We got it, boys. Oh, no! The shoulder! Is this thing broken? No, it's not broken. It's just me that I'm trying to play a touch-sensitive game with a mouse. I think we got it. Yeah! Alright, we'll try to get up to at least difficulty Perfect 10 shot. to see if we get another, like, another weapon for us to try out. Around here. Hey, I remember you. You were my first zombie. Yes, you were. And wins in my favor. Okay. So this one... <laughs> right through the legs, huh? I think we had the right throw. Oh, oh! A little bit lower. Little bit lower. I think that should be right there. Right in the jaw, probably. No, right in the boob. I assure you, that was my intention. Got it. I saw that eyeball. I saw that eyeball. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. Alright, bud. What you got for me? Ooh. Eh, I was gonna switch over the bow, but- Oh, here we go! So we got a new, uh, weapon now. Grenade training. Good, good, good. So how's this gonna work with the grenade? Yo, dude, if that guy's really far, you gotta have, like, a Peyton Manning arm to make this happen. So, we- I guess do it regularly and just toss it over there. So the wind's going crazy that way, so I think we have to go a little bit more to the left. Oh, I might have to... treat this. <gasps> well, I wanted to remove limbs, and I guess this is how you do it. Um, definitely higher up. I think you could also hold it back. Yeah, so it kind of works like the bow. Too far back. But it's like the bow. It's like the bow. You kind of have to cook it, and then toss it. So that one should be good. Oh, perfect. <laughs> well, that worked out pretty good. Oh yeah. 
Yeah! I think I saw one around here. Well, at least I got done what I got wanted to get done in this video, which at least show off the grenade. So that point was good. Um, how do I go to the grenade now, though? Oh, you only give it to me on occasion or what? I wonder if at any point you get, like, multiple zombies at once. It doesn't seem like you're ever in danger. Um, let's go back to the bow over here. The wind's in my favor. I'm going a little bit off to the right, so it doesn't have to be too much to the left. Maybe a tad. Let's see how this one does. I think this will miss, but... Ooh, almost took your pecker off, boy. But if we just go straight up, I think we should be able to hit you. That was right in the pecker, actually. <laughs> I'm not sure how I got in the pecker when I was going up. Oh, baby! Yo, I'm a bow master. I'm getting good. Challenge unlocked, limited ammo. There was one right there. What have you done? What do you mean my limited ammo? Let's look at these achievements here. Miss a shot, yep. Yeah. Blast a zombie's jaw off, yeah. Blast a zombie's arm off. Well, didn't I didn't I blow a zombie's arm off with that grenade? Reach difficulty 20 in normal mode, 50 and 100. Do a total of headshots. Huh. Well, that's a, that's a ton of achievements for a fact. Oh boy. In hurricane mode. I guess probably the wind's a lot crazier than that. Resume. Okay. Um, wind's going fairly strong off to that side, so we want to go a little bit left here. Let's see about this one here, just to give it a try. Oh, oh! That's terrible. Now that's actually pretty good for a first shot. We're just kind of testing the the wind. Oh. We know where we're going, boys. I would say a little bit to the left, but definitely up. I think we got this. Bowmaster! Oh no, I take back my Bowmaster claim. But a little bit to the right should do it. Bowmaster! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> gonna get you and this is what I meant like it's not it's not a bad game whatsoever it's mostly just kind of like a challenge yourself type of game but I figure it's something that I would enjoy or you guys would enjoy playing more yourself than watching me play the entire way through because like the entire let's see this entire video thus far is taking up like you know 11 stages but it's gonna get more difficult as we go further so having to do this like you know nine more times at the very least to get the end scene seems a little bit excessive so I think I'm going to start wrapping it up over here. Let's do this last one, though, because it seems very difficult because the wind's really going up against this. Um, but I'm going to start wrapping it up here. I just wanted to make this video to kind of, like, you know, answer why I still keep getting questions about having why I haven't played Range of the Dead. But this is why. It's not a bad game, but it's definitely something I just don't think you'll, you guys will enjoy too much. Ooh, baby, that was so good for a first shot. Nope. Um, yeah, that cut, what do you think that signifies? Another ad. Which is, you know, perfect time because it's basically telling me to start wrapping it up here, which I am. I just now want to get this shot and I think that ad threw everything off. Yeah, it totally did. Alright, so we're definitely going left for this one. Got it? Boom! Good shot. Smoke him, a cowboy. Excellent. Where are you? Any new weapon or something? No. Hey, we got like a farmer type of dude. Now, I should note before I wrap it up, there is a similar game to this called... I think it's called like Dead Zed? But in Dead Zed, the zombies actually approach you. So you have to kill them before they get to you. You get to go out and scavenge supplies and look for survivors and build up defenses and stuff like that. I'm gonna probably give that one a try, it's also another Flash game. It's very similar to this, but there's, you know, like a sense of a challenge when it comes to like, you know... Zombies are going to get you as opposed to me just waiting here the entire time. I'll do a video on that and see if you guys enjoy it. Um, I got it as a recommendation. It's still kind of pending for me to record, but I'll check it out kind of soon and put a video out for it. For now, though, I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. This is Range of the Dead. As I mentioned, I wanted to explain why I didn't cover it. But, um, you know, it's not a bad game. It's just something too entertaining for you guys to sit through and watch a lot of videos of. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, though, at the very least, and I will catch you next time.